A famous Dutch soccer player once said, you will only see it once you get it. Some things can be explained 10 times or even a hundred times before it suddenly makes click. But when it does, it becomes very obvious. And this applies very well to the open-closed principle. The open-closed principle says, systems should be open for extension, but closed for modification. But how can a system change without modification? Does this even make sense? It does, and after watching this video, not only you understand it, you will see it everywhere in your code, because you already know the problem and solution. You already know it does not help to see this text. Open for extension, but closed for modification. The best way to understand the open-closed principle is to find places in your code where it is violated. And it is very easy to violate the principle. Let me show you. Look at this code. There is a class manager that stores a name and department. And class programmer that stores name, billable hours per week and programming language. I create a function that takes a list of employees. And based on the employee type, the employee information is printed. I add a second function that prints the total billable hours per week. Notice that only programmers are billable. Uh, that's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Ok, I create a list of employees. And finally I call the show employees function and show billable hours function and execute the code. Here is the result. Everything works as expected. But this code has some problems. Roughly, the code can be divided into three parts. There are models, there is some reporting code, and main that connects everything together. In this video, all code is in one file, but in a real project, these three parts would be refactored into separate modules. So, where is the problem? The problem is the switching on employee types. Let me demonstrate by adding a new employee type. Here is class designer. It stores a name, billable hours, and a design tool. I add designer Carl and execute the code. Look at the output. Where is Carl? And why are Carl's billable hours not added to the total? Well, you already know the answer. I forgot to add the designer class type to these switches. That is an easy fix. But wait a minute. Would that be a good idea? The problem would only be solved temporarily. Each time a new employee type is added to the system, the reports would have to be changed again. And that is a good example of a violation of the open-closed principle. When modifying the system requires changes in unexpected parts of the code. And the most common symptom of this problem is switching on types. Whenever you see code like this, get suspicious. My goal for this tutorial is to remove the need for such switches. The code violates the open-closed principle. And this problem can be solved with polymorphism. I start with the first switch. The first thing to do is add polymorphic methods to each employee class. And here they are. What makes these methods polymorphic? It is the fact that they share the same name and signature. In typed languages like C-sharp or Java, you need inheritance to achieve polymorphism. Python is a dynamic language and this is so awesome, you get polymorphism out of the box. Each class now has method showInfo and the switch can be removed. I call showInfo on each employee and execute the code. Look at the output. There's Carl. But the total billable hours is not correct yet. If I just remove the type check in the show billable function, the program crashes. This is because manager has no billable attribute. In this program, there's an easy fix to the problem. If all managers have zero billable hours, I can add a class variable that gives each manager class instance a billable attribute with value zero. I execute the code. 
And look at this, the billable hours are calculated correctly. Notice the code. All the type check switches are gone. This program adheres to the open-close principle. And how can I demonstrate that? Well, adding or removing employee types should not cause changes in the reporting code anymore. Since I already have way too many lines of code on the screen, I will not add yet another class to the system, but instead remove the programmer class from the system. I delete the programmer class and remove instances from the employee list, but do not change the reporting code. I execute the program, and here is the result. The changes I needed to make for this were limited to the models and main. The reporting model did not have to be changed. Polymorphism is a fantastic tool that allows systems to adhere to the open-close principle. But it can do much more. And if you want to see where it is used in Python, click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video.